So where are you, are you mad at her because of who she has become, or are you mad because she's friends with your other friends? I think both, because I feel... Because I've had all that happen to me. I'm older than you. I've lived the life. I got friends who became friends, and I felt some kind of way, and I got other friends. Negro, hush! This is the dog's name. I'm about to put him in the cage and take him outside. Um, and I say that because I've had friends who hang around me and then they became friends with other celebrities because mm -hmm. that's their way in. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is this, is it's very difficult because you're like, I'm the one who introduced you. Yeah. It's a very hard thing to get over, but you can. You have to realize that it's not about your friends, it's about you. It's about you, 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 you. You have to really understand in life, the more confident I get, the busier I get, that's that person's path. And if you do this in life, I guarantee you, if you love God, you love people, you're always kind, your life will be blessed. There is no way God, the universe, will not bless you if you don't become a good person and do what you have to do. Because if you keep that energy and you keep going back to that person who has bad energy, they will suck you up like quicksand. Do you understand that? You have to t you have to find something in you. You have to dig deep in you and figure out how I can be the best human being in the world. How can I give this life and myself the best? Because when you focus on that, you will never focus on her. Do you understand that? Every day, how do I make a difference in my life and someone else's life? If you're touching other people's lives with goodness, how do you have time to deal with that? You understand that? That's how you get over that and move on. Yeah. I can't believe it. What's her number? <laughs> oh, this happened right now. I'm going to call her right now. I'm going to tell her right now. Look. <laughs> look here. I know you're miserable. I know. I know. But you're going to leave my girl alone. Now I need you to get a life. Okay? You got some of her friends. You're a leech. That's what you are. You're a leech. And you're an energy sucker. That's what you are. Yep, yep, you're sucking energy. You're not life-giving, you are life-taking. Get yourself together. Go find you some other devil worshipers. <laughs> uh -huh. That was too much? Went too far? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus! Can you tell me, uh, well, hopefully this person is not, uh, I don't know if you can talk about it, but. Yeah, I can talk about oh, okay. it. <laughs> That friend, remember you said? Yeah, she stole my money. And she was a good friend, and she took a lot of money from her. But I look at her life, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I look at her life, she still ain't happy. She still ain't made it. She's still struggling. I'm good. See, look at my little suede chair. Look, I said I'm good. Look at my suede chair. That's ignorant. <laughs> I mean, but how long did it take you to be, I mean, because this probably happened a long time ago. It, it did. It did. It took a minute. Because what happens is, when you open your heart, as you learn in life, when you let down those walls and you open your heart, and you're like, this is a great person. This person, I trust with my life. So I'm not gonna lock my doors, I don't lock my accounts, I don't do anything. That's called stupid. Trust no one. Um, especially no one who has less than you or less and when I say less, we won't even playing fields. But when I say, look at a person's foundation in their life, and if a person is tricking the system, and they ain't supposed to be on Section 8, what you think they're going to do to you? You got to look at that. If a person is slick on how they living, and you're like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to hang with them. I'm going to get Section 8. I'm going to get food stamps. I'm going to do all of it. <laughs> That's what you're going to do? You're just going to be in the shot? It's disrespectful. Don't trust no dogs in size either. They're disrespectful. Um, but if a person is tricking the system and you think it's a good ride and we're getting over, what do you think they're going to do to you? That's just a lesson right there. People that are slick and trying to get over and you along with the ride, mm -hmm. they're going to do you dirty too. And that's just the truth. Um, she um, was a good, very good friend. She was my assistant. She was doing all kinds of stuff. But every, it was the bank's fault too. She would go to the bank and take $1,500 a month 
tell him she's my sister, I'm cashing a check. And it ended up being $17,000 she got. Now, and she, took, and she put my name on the lease, so I had to go to court. The lady sued me. Uh, it was a mess. And as I was on the floor crying, and oh my God, my life, you know, and how could she do this for I hate her. The first thing is hate. This is the first thing. You're like, I want revenge. I want her hair to fall out. I want her teeth to fall out. And I want her to catch every venereal disease out there. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay, that was outside, sorry. But that is the truth. You want them, that's the first feeling, that's revenge. Uh, and then the next emotion you go to is anger. Angry with yourself, uh, hate, all kind of stuff. Um, so it took a minute, it took a minute. You know, I wanted her to sue, I wanted her to go to jail. And as my success and as my life got better, the happier I got, the less I focused on her. Because I was like, what happened was it took so much energy out of my life. Every time I thought of her, every time I thought about ways to get back at her, I'd be thinking of ways to make my life better. That's what I was doing, I was spending a lot of negative energy. And one thing I believe is karma. Karma will take you down. And the better I am, the better karma I get. And when I'm bad and do things negative, it comes back, it comes back tenfold, and that's just the truth. So, you just gonna lick my feet? This is so disrespectful. You see me talking on the camera? Don't do that, I don't want people to know that's how I get cleaned up in the morning. <laughs> um, so, I would say, it, that's the one thing I remember though, is karma. Karma is a thing that, I'm just gonna get closer with the blower, <laughs> just gonna blow all up in here while we interviewing. Um, what so, was the timeline though, Kim? So she took the money. She took the money, I found out about it. Court, it was probably a whole eight month period that I went through. But for me to forgive her, it probably took a couple years. And it took a couple years of other people telling me and talking to me and, and me understanding that it did nothing for me. It was like having some kind of disease eating at you on the inside. You'll get ulcers, hair loss. And this person is skipping around life having a good time. But you're sitting there sick because you can't forgive and move on. I mean, I'll see you now. She'll be like, hey. I'll be like, hey. That's what you're going to do. Just come on in the house with the blower. <laughs> okay, so after the two-year process of you trying to get past it, what was the moment that you were like, okay, I'm done. I'm well, going to past it. I think after I saw her. I saw her out, and she was really trying to still be my friend. And I'm like, are you serious? Wait, and so she had no guilt that she had already? No guilt at all. A lot of people sometimes feel like you owe them. And um, it just depends on what the person is. And once I saw her, and I saw how she looked, and I saw her life, and then I saw mine, I'm like, well, I'm doing good. I'm feeling good about my life. Why would I let her take my joy, take my energy? Take anything. There's nothing, you know, I can go put her in jail and do all that. But I had a blessing. You know, we sometimes you gotta stop and let go and let God. And I know what that means because that year, um, my tax person called me and was like, You owe fifty thousand dollars in taxes. I was like, What? I said, I don't have it. I literally started crying. I was like, There's no way I could pay this. And then I remember, I said, Well, I from the bank, uh, did have, uh, you know, uh, $17,000 or whatever it was, you know, taken from me. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, really? I said, right off. It zeroed my tax debt because of that. That reminds me of the scripture that says, what was meant for my heart, God used to prosper. Say it one more time, I can't hear you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was meant for my harm, God used to prosper me. There it is. What was meant for my harm, God used to prosper me. And at that moment, when you say what was the, that was the turning point. That was when I said, okay, sometimes you gotta let God fight your battles. 
and that was it. I, I, how can I be mad? I needed that. You know? Even in lessons when you get hurt, I need that lesson because it's going to be a bigger lesson down the road. You know? How can you be mad, you know, at certain things because you will need it? So I, I think that's what my turning point was. And letting it eat me up in every day, thinking about how to get her back. When I could be thinking about every day, how do I better my career? How do I better my good friend's life? How do we hang out? Um, so I think, you know, forgiveness is, is very difficult. Um, I don't think you forget. And people are like, you got to forget. If you uh, forgive, you got to forget. I don't believe in that. Why would I forget the bad? I can forgive, but I'm going to remember. Because you have to remember. Because if I forget, then guess what? Somebody else can come by and bamboozle me. So no, I'm not going to forget. And when I see that person, why would I give that person any part of my life and joy? Yes, you forgive. But I don't need to hug up on them and be like, oh, that. Because guess what? There are consequences to your action. So now, guess what? You're not my friend ever again. Excuse me. So that is your consequence. You can't be in my life and hurt me. That is your consequence. Goodbye and good riddance. Now, like even in, in your father's case, you can't. But you have to remember every good that you do, you will be blessed. You helping your father, helping a, a human being, it also helped you. But whatever thing that you needed in your life, it helped you, you know? And so you have to build upon that and the lessons that you learn, you'll be able to pass it down to someone else, yeah. whether it's your kids or somebody. Mm -hmm. Because uh, forgiveness and stress in your life can kill you. Yeah. It is the uh, unseen killer. So I think the quicker we get over things and move on, the better we are. Um, just remember, people try to steal your light. Just always be a light. Don't just take me some right, so did, Although, She literally said, said you're not going to take my light. Yeah, yeah, you you turned the, the light off. off. What the hell? Where am I? We just going <laughs> to rewind 10 seconds. <laughs> Can we just take the light down? <laughs> See how they take your light? See how they take your light?